Yeah, Mitch, let me ask you this. And I know you're athletic. What would you say your fastest mile time is? What a compliment. Uh, 555 as legend has it. Okay. All right. I'm impressed. Uh, but I have a story about a man who ran a sub six mile for more than 62 straight miles. His name is Jim Wansley, and he secured his name in the record books last week on a road course here in Arizona. Jim Wamsley from Flagstaff, Arizona is on the cusp of breaking the 100-kilometer world record. Horizon High School alum Jim Walmsley joined some of the most elite ultra runners in an attempt to break a world record in the 100K, a distance of a little more than 62 miles. What a monumental effort by Jim Walmsley. Walmsley shattered the American record by nearly 20 minutes, but fell just 12 seconds shy of the world record. It, it takes a little bit of guessing, guesstimating um, of where I want to be and um, trial and error. And I almost tagged it perfectly, but I, I miscalculated a little bit. I like to stay optimistic that I can find a little more time and come back again sometime. Walmsley has been an ultra runner for years, but it was thanks to his time in the Air Force that eventually propelled him from rock bottom one of the toughest runners in the history of the sport. I was a nuclear missile air officer, so um, I sat in missile silos up in Montana, underground for 24-hour shift, um, but I also got in trouble, um, got a DUI pretty quickly when I got up there. Basically, everybody that had stuff on their record kind of got scrubbed first, and so my five-year commitment turned into about three years. Walmsley was forced to figure out what was next. I moved back home with my parents for like three months. Didn't talk to anyone in Phoenix at all while I was there. He eventually moved up to Flagstaff and within a little over a year made running his full time job while making a name for himself in the ultra community. I mean, some of the best times ever was when I was still just super broke. Uh, just nobody knew who I was. Walmsley knows what it's like to hit rock bottom. And that's what motivates him to keep going. I feel like as an athlete, I was so hungry. Now that I've had successes, the highs and the lows, just throw them both out, stay neutral, stay even keeled, and you gotta stay hungry. Needless to say, a new American record. Wow. Now the man never stops. He just ran that race and in two and a half weeks he's going to do another 100K. The next accomplishment he wants to check off, winning a 90K in South Africa called Comrades. That's 56 miles. My body hurts running five to six miles, so I can't even imagine. But mad respect for him.